Okay, here's my presentation on the murder of Eratosthenes. Essentially what I did is I created um, the house and the characters from Lysias 1 in The Sims 4 and had them act out um, the plot as Euphilides told it, not as how I believe it occurred. Um, there were a couple limitations just because of gameplay and stuff, but I will point those out. Um, here we see the outside of the house. Importantly, there are two floors and an outdoor staircase down the back, which are central to the plot. Um, as far as the home went, I took creative liberties to try and make it look good, but I kept the things that were crucial to the plot. So here on the first floor, crucial is that this is where uh, Euphilides' wife is. Um, she's downstairs. This allowed her to conduct the affair. The woman's space is also down here with her. Um, and then upstairs is, again, just really showing the divide. This is Euphilides' space, his bedroom. Um, a little workshop for him, and then a, a couple spare rooms on this floor and the next floor up. Um, and I'm only making spotlights for the three main players um, in this, Euphilides, his wife, and Aristosthenes, um, but I do have sims for the older woman and the slave girl, but those should be obvious um, in gameplay. But this is Euphilides, as I imagined him. Oh, yes, he looks he looks fairly noble. Again, this is how he presents himself. And then this is the young hotshot Aristosthenes, um, who comes in and has an affair with his wife, and apparently multiple other women as well. And then here is the gorgeous wife, the center to the drama. Um, and then we're moving into gameplay. So here I just wanted to depict, you know, that Euphilides is just doing what he does he had no idea any of this was going on he's just a foolish man that was you know working away well the whole time Aristosthenes was barging into his house and conducting an affair with his wife I mean oh my gosh giving her a flower and the sims do have autonomy that is another little restriction that I had is that um, so that little move there, I had no control over it. It was just something that happened. Um, in the background, also, I didn't realize this when I was recording, but that is the baby crying. Um, he is in the other room. I try to keep it realistic, but I wish he had not been crying during this entire clip. Um, but here is them conducting their affair. And then here is the older woman very dramatically telling Euphilides about the affair and Oh my god, he looks shocked. Oh, she is being really graphic with it. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so upset. He had no idea. Oh, he's such a wronged man. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize she laughed at him. Um, and then he leaves to confront the slave girl. So here he is, yelling at her, cursing her out um, to essentially confirm what he has been told by the older woman. He was obviously not kind when he did this, but she eventually confronts it. And then so he decides to go and confront his wife and hopefully Aristosthenes. And oh, wouldn't you know it, he's, he's walking in and boom, caught them in the middle of it. He's so distraught. What a wrong husband. He had no idea in his own home. So here he is. He's yelling at Aristosthenes. He's telling him, I'm not going to be the one to kill you. It's going to be the law of our city. Um... But then ironically, as we'll see here in a second, Aristosthenes, not Aristosthenes, Euphilides does kill him. Um, another limitation of the game, I did not realize that that dresser was going to be in the way of the murder, but it is not, um, you can't just undo things, so I had to, to just live with that. Um, but there he was, after he had murdered Aristosthenes, and this is what led him to give this court speech in the first place. So R.I.P. Aristosthenes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this fun little presentation. I did like build the relationships and, and set everything up and it was really fun. I included a bonus clip of, um, this was after um, Aristosthenes had been murdered. I looked outside, there was a fire, the Grim Reaper standing around. Um, I just thought the chaos was really appropriate, both for the story and also just the Sims. This is how it, this is how it happens.